And the potential, the mining potential in Nandi County, and with this kind of approach, to familiarize ourselves with the, what's going on in Nandi County. But the way governors put it clearly is that uh, we see enormous potential in the area of mining. And we're trying to find out why is it that for the longest time nobody can actually give us a success story or a good story in regards to mining, particularly in this area. And that's why we're here today to see and listen to everybody, stakeholders, from my brothers in the field of artisanal mining, those big investors, the communities, the county government, we believe strongly that county government has a critical role. And I was telling the governor in his office that uh, once we, are, we agree on a structured way of engagement, there's a lot more we could do together. The county government here should be able, first of all, to help us in dealing with illegal mining. Mm -hmm. Governor, I don't know whether you're aware, but uh, I've come to learn when I got into the office that uh, there are many illegal miners in our country. They collect particularly gold mm -hmm. and uh, take it to some other country, neighboring country, process it, and unfortunately pay royalties there. So what's meant for you is paid elsewhere mm -hmm. because they would need some documentation of some sort to be able now to export into the international market. I'm sure my brothers in the industry understand what I'm talking about. So we have to stop that. That has to end. So we ensure whatever uh, God-given uh, um, minerals of value in our country do benefit our people. And where even the government is today, if we really want this government to, to, to stabilize and, and progress and you know, relieve the burden of taxation on the people, is we have to find other means. And that is why I want to tell you, the people of Nandi, we have no time to waste. There's really no time. Lazima to be a ground to tafute alternative means of raising revenue so the country can progress. Now, Vijana Wapati Ajira, that employment is very critical. A lot of our young people must get jobs. And they want the jobs today. See your case show who can engage in aqua, uh, uh, aquaculture, aqua um, uh, agriculture for purposes of ensuring that we support these communities. Again, we look forward to working with you as we expand the opportunities within mining, not just in gold, but many other deposit, mineral deposits that are available in Nandi. Also, we have a huge team of artisanal miners, you know, uh, doing gold mining at the level, at the artisanal level. Uh, today, again, you have, I have introduced uh, the team, the artisanal mine, mining county committee here, and I am sure your ministry and your department will, and the mining department, state department will work with them as we look at expanding those uh, opportunities. We will be asking for the ministry's support towards to the artisanal miners in Nandi County. We are helping to organize them in terms of providing them with equipment and, and any other support that can, uh, that can go towards that end, that mining uh, takes place. You are aware that Nandi County has a huge mining potential, and that potential has been underutilized for a long time. 
We have many um, mineral deposits in Nandi, gold being one of them. And you know that we have one of the uh, biggest commercial uh, gold mining in Kerebe, right down here in Chemase. We have had a lot of issues and concerns uh, uh, over the last five or so years relating to the gold mine in Chemase. One, the relationship between counties or the county government of Nandi, the local community, and the investor in there. And some of those issues have led to situations where uh, the exploitation of that mineral for the good of the local community, of the national economy, and also to the investor has been, um, has, has been minimal. We are excited that within two weeks, of his appointment, the minister is here on a familiarization um, exercise.